today we are going to draw something new and by new I mean a portrait like always so not basically so that new but yeah, I had anything else in mind so let's start with outlines and I'm working with my one by Wacom medium size graphic tablet and not my Cintiq because I if I use my Cintiq I'm going to look down all the time and that's not going to be very good uh, for you because all you would see is my head like this so I'm going to use my graphic tablet Okay. Let's find out what's going to happen. And let's use a brighter color. I love this brighter color. And what's happening here? We have no transfer. Now we have some. Alright. And let's draw the ear. You can't hear without the ear. Hmm. So, some here. And, do, 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 do. and here. And we have the neck starting there. And here. Also. Oh. color to change when you draw with the colors you can use different colors to shape your forms and if you have a background color you can use it as a uh, eraser you know, to shape your forms and help your performance and let's add some red to this more redness this part the more darkness for the hair let's go and like this and like this I watch my uh, reference picture but I don't want my drawing to look like exactly like my reference picture maybe we do that in another video let me know in the comment section so that if you want me to draw something realistic enough to look like the reference picture or not because I love this type of drawing Freedoring loosely, as you may say, loose drawing freely. I don't like rules in the art because you want to be free when you draw, and when you add rules, you get out the fun from it. And the ear was in a wrong location, it should be here. Hello. As you can see, I shape my shapes. I shape my shape in ding 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 
and let's see we have more darkness here in the ear here in the ear more redness and do, 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 do. More redness here let me know in the comments do you prefer these kind of videos or that kind of videos that there's no me in it no me or me me or no me So I like this. I want some red for the nose. Use the red for the nose. You need to use the force for the nose. I don't know what I'm talking about, but thank you, Windows, for your interruption. I don't know if you hear that or not. That was Windows with a random notification. the shadow for eyes I need the eyes in the shadow further um, more, do, 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 more like this and the only like this do, 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 how was your day? My day was pretty good because I decided to change back to this setup so I can talk to you more. And it was a good day. Progressive, productive day. As you may say. So sometimes Wacom has a, a crazy thing with Photoshop no matter what you do what setting you change sometimes it forget to read the temperature and I think now it's one of those times and I have to check my Wacom setting see if it works I think it's better now okay so let's add some highlights for the chick here and here this may look very deformed but and here Shadowy bits here, some light bits here. So let's do this and more i'm going to out of the oh sorry i was going out of the flame and also more highlights here Two dark uh, spots for the end of the eyelashes. 
So I start drawing the eyes from there, like this, around, shape there, and around, shape there. Because this is a Asian woman, Asian woman, so the eyes are different in shape. Uh, some eyebrow here, here, like this. Okay, so let's do this more color to them, make them more pronounced. The pronounces, pronounces, pronounced, pronounced, and like this. Maybe some shadow from nowhere. That shadow came from nowhere, sir. I know. There are some characters living in my head, that's really so that's them sometimes. I'm not crazy. Maybe I am. To be fair, if you're not crazy, you can't an artist I'm not trying to say that I'm an artist but I have the crazy part of it and do, 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 do. like that so let's shape Mm. Always changing your mistakes or correcting your mistakes because there's nothing 100%. So, adding some shadows here and here and shaping the body. Like that. Like that. And like that. Here. Like this. It's looking good already. I like it. I love 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 it. And like this. I hold down the alt to change my tool from brush to eyedrop tool so I can change the color as I draw. Also that helps you to blend your colors together. You know when I add some red I blend it with my lighter colors with my yellows and things like that and let's add more shadow So let's more uh, let's add more highlights here like that. Let's 
some more of this more light no no that look bad that look bad sorry 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 darker colors for this and this but we need some shadows for here So it is, and let's add some higher, lighter colors. And uh, I mean, I need something like this here. So let's blend these colors together. And for that reason, I'm going to lower my flow. Nine maybe be good. Okay. So for blending your colors after you done with this part, you lower your flow. Never lower your opacity because that will make every color dull and make everything look bad. But not the fellow. Fellow is good. Fellow is your friend. As you may say, fellow is a good person. Fellow is everything. Go with the flow. So maybe lower flow, like five, because it's. Oh, what? what? Temperature. Okay, that was crazy. So I made an error because my transfer on fellow was off. It should be on pen pressure in your brush setting. So brush setting, brush, brush setting, transfer, opacity control and fellow control on pen pressure. So my fellow control was off that's why I wasn't happy with the result and like this I'm going to blend more how more uh, or maybe we can say more you blend your colors uh, more it looks like a complete Artwork. What? Oh, okay, like this. And we have to change some portion of the face. Like this. Okay. And let's do the lips. Start with the corners, now we are here. Start with the corners, now we are here. Uh, obviously start with the corners. And draw... Upper lip. And like that, change it. Also, let's do this part like... Oh, now we are talking. Looks better, looks better. We have some highlight here, some shadows below the lip. And uh, let's do the upper lip darker. And the lower lip lighter. And doing lower lip like this. And 
shadow and the highlights in these parts. Okay, so let's see. And let me make this lighter and change the form of it like this. And okay, so far so good. We need some darker colors for this part of the lip and the end parts. So like this. And change the form of the lip. So let's add some highlights there and some highlights here. Maybe change it because that ah, okay. It's shaping up. working on the details we are working on the details people and that's what we are doing we are reshaping everything that doesn't look good enough and we are trying to make everything looks look as good as possible so that's what we are going so when you draw you will start fast and finish slow. Remember that. Sometimes you can start fast and finish fast. That's become a sketch. And when you want more details or you spend more time on your drawing, you become slower when you do that and that gives you more details some people do work weeks on a single artwork i can do that i can't some people even work a month or two on a single artwork and that's crazy i never can do that that's why i'm a digital artists because I don't have patience for that kind of work I like sketching I like fast drawing and some highlights here okay Okay, I'm thinking that's good. 
let's add some detail to the lips let's go So I think watching these videos will help you relax because it's a very relaxing thing, relaxing thing for me to do when I draw. It's really calming me down. And I'm not a very relaxed person, but drawing very good for you. When you draw, you completely relax and you don't understand the time passing by and that's a good thing not in a bad way and reshaping here That's why I sometimes stop typing because I'm so zoned out in the process that I can touch sometimes. But I'm going to fill that spot with a nice mellow lo-fi music. I know you like them. I like them. And they're very relaxing. Also, let's see. Okay. So let's some add. Let's add some highlights here. Reshaping the forms on the shape because on the face because some of them are too sharp for this face. This face is not that sharp because it's more feminine face. So when you add more sharp parts to a face, you make it more manly, and you need some feminine features for the face when you draw a woman. Depends on the model you use. Okay, so let's When I use this graphic tablet, not my Cintiq, it's harder to make 
shape make face on the white purple purple what polar on face anatomy maybe we leave it that there so for that reason I'm going to change this to a lawyer and hmm, hmm. let's see so these need to move Let's use lasso and move the nose and the lip here. So, Ctrl D. Let's take a look. Looks better, and let's uh, paint over it and remove the borders that we made. So let's draw the eyelids and let's use a darker color like this. We are going to along the upper part of the eye so that will be your eyelid and more darker color here. Okay, maybe let's go. Hmm, not bad. Not very good, but I can live with it. And let's see this one. shaping the face again because we changed the nose and the lips and we have to change the other parts too and that's what we are going to do we are, and that's what I'm doing
Okay, so continuing on working on this, working on this artwork that I don't know how it's going to look like after all of these changes. Oh, it doesn't matter. The ma what matters most is the time we have spent together. to spend my time with you guys that's a good thing that's a good thing and let's use the lasso again because uh, moving the ear like this for brush and maybe more flow so okay. more flow and voila we are doing all just fine doing just fine just fine and one thing with the lower opacity of flow I don't know, I became mute, I told you, when I zone out, I can't talk, and that's what's happened. One more on that. Random noises, when you wear the headphone, always random noises. And that's crazy. Okay, so this part needs change. Like this. That was too much neck for her. And like this. Maybe like this. Like that. You know you constantly collecting your drawing. That's what you should do when you draw. Don't leave it. Don't say that's not going to look good and leave it. Just try to collect your mistakes and talk to yourself about the every form you see. Well, that form starts, where it ends, 
which part of it is darker, which part of it, that form is lighter, what color it has, it's what colors combined to create that color. As you can see, I'm changing the eyes because the eyes were different that wasn't a good look for this so I may make it more characteristic and make it more like some character you see in a video game or something like that so not 100% realistic So many random noises are coming. I don't know you hear them or not, but there are so many random noises right now. In here, stop making random noises, people. Don't make random noises. As you can see, I'm changing the face to make it different, make it more pronounced, more noticeable as a character design. Not a random portrait. So maybe I should do that more often, more character design so less normal portraits because sometimes portraits are became boring if you do them so much but there are good things to do okay and I have some dark here yeah maybe the light like this looking cool So once more because the lips are not very great we need to rotate them like this and maybe okay that's better control D to deselect and B to reselect the brush lighter color because I need it here and that start looking good okay so maybe use that lighter color here also to create some contrasting colors that part I also
Okay. And darkness here. And here. Mm. Opacity on 100. And we play with the flow. When you hold down the alt and click on the right click and when you use a graphic tablet your right click is a is the button on your pen when you use that when you hold down the alt and use that key when you move it left to right you can change the size of your brush so if you see I change my brush so fast that's why that I constantly using it. okay now we are talking now we are talking so Okay, let's draw inside the eyes. I'm going to use a brighter color from the face. And draw them. And after that, I'm going to use a darker color. Again, from the colors that I have. so far let's see the straight and oh my god my back okay and I'm happy with it it doesn't look bad at all so let's see we have this Sometimes you can rotate your drawing upside down so you see if there's a, any messed up on your drawing. That's a way to see the mistakes. Just like life. Sometimes you need a time to stay back and watch your mistakes so you can correct them. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. What's not okay is repeating them. And 
with allowing some thoughts because I changed some things that I want to read out of them. this part too because that was a big face we need it more narrow to look like a normal face like this and let's change this part too So, I need some highlights for the neck and I think that's pretty much it. And like this. Hmm. Maybe we need to add some more lights or details, I don't know. But right now, it's exactly good. Good. looks good enough we collect our, collect our mistakes and we changed some parts of the face we, we moved some parts of the face that were not very correct position shaping up not very completely but it's not that rough like the first that we start to draw and let's see it's good so maybe I use that um, color lookup method for it go to color lookup and select the moonlight oh 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 what we have here no let's go back and correct it where is it okay So hmm. you see there's never end for the drawing. It's a hard thing to stop drawing when you start. It's a crazy thing. You know, it's hard to stop drawing and it's also hard to stop drawing. And I don't understand. 
when you keep drawing you like a machine that is warmed up like a car that is warmed up and wants to go continue to go going and always the starting is hard hard spot so I add a color lookup use the mask to change some part of it I like this when you use alt and right click and move left and right to change your brush size uh, it sometimes change the opacity I don't know why it happens but maybe it's when uh, a little up and down movement it change your opacity always check your opacity and set it to 100 just play with the flow so you know that your painting will be sharp and colorful because when you lower the opacity it's always become dull and not very good looking for your drawing or painting or whatever you're doing always check your opacity and I'm making the light look like it's following the face shape you know and that's the important part and when you do that it's a more believable when you do that So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and please tell me what you want to me want me to draw and like the video, subscribe and see you on the next one.